Hey everyone, I'm Lyle, Product Manager at Zen Armor. So in this quick video, I'm going to introduce to you Zen Armor's latest Windows application, which is available with all of our SSE and SASE subscriptions as of version 1.18. So we created this Windows application as part of our plug and secure anywhere approach to SASE. By doing this, we're giving you the option to choose how you would like to deploy Zenarmor in your network. So if you've been following us up until now, you should be well aware that we can deploy very easily on OpenSense, PFSense, and various other Linux and BSD platforms. We now have the ability to deploy directly on endpoints like Windows, Windows 11, Windows 10, and then also coming in the not too distant future is Mac OS. We are in the process of finalizing the development there, as well as other Linux endpoints, Ubuntu desktop, and so on. So today I'm going to talk specifically about our Windows version of Zen Armor. However, keep in mind that if you're using this on Mac or on Linux, it will look identical and it'll have the same identical functionality. So included in this Windows edition of Zen Armor, the Zen Armor engine, as well as this UI, comes packaged as one. And all the great functionality that you already are familiar with if you've used our product in the past on OpenSense or PFSense, included in our engine is now all available directly on this Windows device. So what this means is that all inspection is now happening locally on this device's interface, on its Wi-Fi or LAN interface, however you choose to set it up, and all the control is being applied directly on those interfaces. So you no longer have to send your traffic to a gateway, perhaps running on OpenSense or PFSense, and then letting that do your inspection for you before you break out to the internet. Everything is happening locally on on this endpoint. So this is a, a huge benefit to you because this means you have different ways of deploying Zen Armor within your network. If you're in an environment where you have perhaps a remote only staff and you don't want to set up VPN connectivity to backhaul your traffic through a on-prem or a data center running version of Zen Armor, you no longer need to do that anymore. You can simply deploy Zen Armor directly to your user as endpoints and all the inspection happens locally on those devices regardless of what network that they are connected to they could be at home they could be at the office they could be in a starbucks and they'll still have all of the great protection and control and visibility that zen armor offers and that you're already familiar with as far as control is concerned all of the control remains with zen console so once you install Zen Armor onto your endpoint, the user will be required to log in using their organization credentials, which you set up within Zen Console. And from there, they will then have network access. All of the policies that you create will be brought down via our agent to your endpoints, and you'll have full visibility of your endpoints regardless of which network they are connected to. With this endpoint, as I said, we offer all of the same functionality that you can expect on OpenSense, including things like TLS inspection or deep packet inspection and Cloud Access Security Broker, also known as CASB. So you have that full suite of security as well as your app controls and your web filters and so on. A bonus if you are running our Windows application or any of our other endpoint versions of Zen Armor is that you don't need to install third party certificates on these devices in order to perform TLS inspection. This is all included within the package where Zen Armor has all that built in automatically for you. So there's no need to deploy any additional certificates in order to perform TLS inspection. It's really as simple as installing the application, allowing the user to log in and all their policies will be applied that you configure within Zen Console for them. It's really simple as that. So let's take a closer look at the user interface. So this lightweight in interface is being created to be as unobtrusive as possible to your end users. It's mainly here to offer an ability for them to log in and to authenticate against the network before they have internet access, as well as for you to get some basic diagnostic information about this particular endpoint if need be. So in this, we include on our homepage information about such as the engine, whether it's running, version number, Numbers, as well as if our cloud agent is running. This is the, the agent that 
facilitates the communication between this endpoint and Zen console, which runs in the cloud, and then basic user information and the security status. Also included in this particular interface, we've given you some very basic user statistics, which once again can be used as diagnostic information if you need to troubleshoot something. So we've included things like your most used apps, your top remote hosts, you know, where these users are connecting to on this machine, as well as top detected threats and top blocked threats. This information can be relayed to you as an administrator or to your security team uh, if you need some, if you need your end user to perhaps provide this information. However, all this information, as I mentioned earlier, is forwarded up to Zen Console in the cloud. So you have the ability to see everything that's happening on this endpoint from that perspective as well. Then we've included a very basic settings menu. This is where a user can log out if need be, as well as restart the, the services that we have and then send us feedback as well as control the debugging or troubleshooting uh, level should we require additional information if there's any problems whilst troubleshooting your deployment. In addition to this, we also offer some notifications, once again, for diagnostic purposes, and then just some general information about our agent that's running on your machine with the ability to check for any updates. Then the final part of the agent, which I will speak about briefly, is the secure networks or secure private networks uh, functionality. So currently, we are busy working on, as part of our SASE package, a ZTNA or a zero trust network access functionality, which we will be making available in 2025 to everybody that is on a SS, to everybody that's on a SASE package rather. So this is something to look out for. But for those of you that don't know what zero trust network access is, it's a basically a VPN replacement where we can give you the ability to create links between this endpoint and perhaps a resource in the cloud or in a data center or even connect two different endpoints together. And what makes ZTNA unique and more powerful than a VPN is that that we are using our existing ability to control applications where we can allow only specific applications across that link and everything else will be denied by default. So this creates a zero trust network for you and it follows least privileged principles and it creates a islanded environment for those communications to take place, which is totally secure. So if you're familiar with things like zero tier or tail scale, uh, you'll be familiar with the product that we are creating. However, we we are building additional application control and security into that for you as well. So do keep an eye out for that. Uh, that's an exciting new development that will be launched shortly. So to look at endpoint management from Zen Console's perspective, you'll be able to easily manage all of your endpoints on your network through Zen Console's latest organization dashboard, which is available with version 1.18 of Zen Armor to all of our SSE and SASE subscribers. And from there, you can simply come into this menu and you'll have some control over your various endpoints. As you can see on this network, I have two um, keep in mind that this is a development environment, so it's a, not a, a fully built environment, um, but I have two, my, my MacBook as well as my Windows 11 machine running the Xenom agent. And from here, you can have basic control over them, such as suspending them or removing them and so on. So this is your starting point. In order to be able to use the Xenom applications on all of your Windows machines and Mac and so on, you have to have user accounts because the users need to be able to authenticate and log in to your provider, your IDP, or using our built-in authentication to be able to use the endpoint versions of the, the, of the Xenoma software. So from here to start and set this up, you'll need to leverage our identity and access management functionality where you have the option of either using our built-in authentication where we have described here built-in authentication available in Zen Console where you can set up your users and accounts. And then if you are already using any kind of generic SAML 2.0 provider, Google Cloud Identity, uh, Azure AD and so on, you can simply select one of those 
those as your authentication method and sign up with them as well. So as of this video, we currently support generic XAML 2.0, which you can integrate with Azure or Intra ID if that's something that you have. We are, however, working on a more fluid and easy way or easier way of integrating to Azure. So this will be coming out in the not too distant future. And then we already have full functionality for Google Cloud identity. So if your organization is already tied into Google Workspaces, we can immediately with ease integrate into that existing workspace you can bring all your users and groups directly into Zen Console. And from there, you can create your policies around those users and groups very easily. So once your users have been set up, it's a matter of deploying the agent to whichever of your endpoints they are needed on. And then from there, simply the user logs in with their provided credentials and they'll have access to the network. All the policy configurations and visibility is all available through Zen Console, as you should already be familiar with if you've been using any of our previous versions of Zen Armor. So I encourage you to go out and try our latest Windows offering and also keep an eye on our social media. We constantly make announcements of new developments. And as I said earlier, we have some exciting new ZTNA developments in the pipeline. So don't miss out on those. So that's everything I wanted to share with you today. I hope you found this quick video informative. And if you are interested in using our SSE edition on Windows, please feel free to either reach out to your existing account manager or to send us a mail at sales at zenarmor.com and we'll gladly get you up and running as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see everyone soon.